Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will learn about Lazy Column in Jetpack Compose, which is similar to Recycler View. We'll create a cut adoption app that has a functionality to add and remove data using state and view model. So for example, here we can scroll data down and also we can remove data by just clicking this cut here. And also we can add new cuts by clicking this floating action button here. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we start in this project, I have added starting data like the images of cards and the data class, which the project is available for download, a link in the description below. So as you can see here in this folder, we have here a data class and we have created here a data class of cards and we have created these cards. Also, if you come here to this race and here to drawable, you can find these images of cards. So you can just go and download it on GitHub and we, can, we are good to go. Okay, now let's collapse this and we are going to create here a new file. And we are going to call this home. Now let's start by creating a home composable, which is going to be our screen for the entire UI. So let's create here a new composable and we are going to call this home. And inside here, this home, we are going to use a scaffold. So we are going to use this scaffold and this scaffold has the inner padding. So we are going to use this inner padding inside our lazy column. So this lazy column also contains the content padding. And then we are going to pass that the default padding, which is provided by this Lambda function. And then inside here, we are going to call all of our items or all our composable, but it's different from the column one. And inside here, the, let's create a list item so that we can just display here a list which is in a, in a horizontal format as you have seen. So in order to do that, we are going to create another composable and we are going to call this cut list item. And inside here, this cut list item, we're going to use a row. And there are two ways which you can use. And there is another way, which is the using the experimental APIs, but it's just really simple. So I'm going to show you later in this video. Right now, let's create this manually. So we are going to use a row inside here. And inside this row, we are going to use the horizontal arrangement. And now inside here, we are going to create uh, the image. And this image is going just to display that the image of the cut. And we have to pass here the cut. So we can just pass in here a cut. We have to use a painter resource ID here and we have to put the cut. We pass in here the cut image and we're going to pass in here now. So right now we have created here our, our image and we can try and create here the text. And this text are arranged in a vertical format. So we are going to use a column here. And inside this column, we are going to create here a text. And this first text is going to use the name and we can pass in here a typography and we're going to use here header six so we can duplicate this and here we can use the gender and we are going to use body two also we can change here color So we're going to decrease here the opacity of this color and we can change it to 0.5. So now let's try and preview here our function. So let's create here a preview function. And we are going to call this and we are going to call that cut list. And inside here we have to pass in a cut. So we're going to use here a remember function 
in order to get the we're going to generate a random cut and we are going to pass in here that cut now let's try and preview here our function and see so here is our ui which we have created this list item so we are going to use this and we have to create a header so that we can display it here in this lazy column so let's do this right now here so let's collapse this one here and then we are going to create here a room so that we can see this properly so we are going to create here another composable and this composable we are going to call it header and inside here this is going to take here two parameters so we are going to get the text which we're going to display and then we pass in a default modifier so inside here we're going to use a surface and inside this surface we are going to pass in here color then we're going to use the material theme then we pass in here the content color also we are going to use the material theme then we're going to use the primary color also we have to provide here the modifier now we are going to pass in here a text and this text is going to take up that text then we have to style this to use the typography we use the subtitle too and now we want to fill up the whole we have to pass in here the modifier so we have created here our header so we are going to use this header inside the we're going to use this inside the lazy column so let's just do it right now so now let's fill up here our lazy column and this is different from the column composable which accepted directly taking up the the composables so inside here we have to use a function and this function is called item and here we are going to add a single item so we are going to use the header composable which we have created and we are going to pass in here the text we're going to pass in here cards so this header here we are adding here a single item so we can add here the multiple items so first and foremost we have to create here a state of this which is going to hold up the the list of these cards and if you don't know states i'm going to bring up here a card so you can watch the the state the state video which is going to help you so let's use here the and we are going to call this cut and we're going to use the remember keyword function here in order to bring up the the cards so we're going to use the repository here the cards repository the fax cards repository which we have created in the data class so we are going to get cards here and inside here now we have to use the items then these items here we are going to pass in the cards and inside this lambda function you have to import this because sometimes it is not imported and then inside these items here we can pass in that cut so we're going to rename this reference here then we can pass in the cut items list and we're going to pass in here the cut so now let's create here a preview function for the home so now let's rebuild here our project and see what's going to happen so as you can see here now we have created the ui and this one is our ui which is looking pretty good right now but we have to make these images rounded so we are going to jump inside here and we can fix this by adding here a modifier so we are going to pass in here a modifier and then we are going to clip this to be a rounded form so So inside here we are going to use the material theme we're going to use the material theme shapes then we are going to clip this to a small to small rounded corners so right now if we try and rebuild and see here so now we have given that polish which 
we have gained these rounded corners here. Now let's try and run this on a real device and see. So if you launch up the app will be empty as you can see here and this is because we have not created this on the main activity. So it's going just to display a blank activity. So let's jump inside here and fix this by calling here the home composable. So right now here we can try and rebuild and we can see just right now. So now the app is launched and as you can see here we have the data and you can scroll here down and up. So right now if you click there is nothing which is happening and this is because we have not added the state so that it can react to it so when we are clicking and we can do this by using the view model. So we are going to jump inside here and create a event that is going to help us to remove and add items. Now let's create here a view model so that we can place those events and the state. So we are going to create here a new a new file. And this file we are going to call this and it's going to extend here view model. Now here we can create so we can create here a mutable state and inside here we are going to create here we're going to use the cut repo and then we are going to get here cuts. So inside here we can create now the add functionality. So we are going to create here the events. Now we can take this cut and we can use here delicate method so that we don't have to create here by every time we call dot values. So inside here we're going to call this cut. Then we are going to use the cuts. And then we are going to add the list of cuts. So inside here we are just adding up this cut and this one. So we are adding inside here. And also we can create here a remove function. And this parameter takes in a cut. Then now we can take the cut. Then we can convert this to mutable list. So we are going to remove the cut. So right now here we are done with the view model. So what we need just right now is just to hook up these events inside the, the composables. So, so right now here we want to click and add up a, a, a a cut and in order to do that we are going to use a floating action button so inside this is scaffold we are going to create here a floating action button now we have created here a floating action button now we have to pass in this event inside here so in this home here we can pass in here the the event we are going to pass in here a variable that is going to take up the cuts so it's going to bring up the list of cuts and also we have to create here the the click functionality so in order to add here we have to use the And we don't need any more of this, so we are going to create here the cuts. And so inside this on click, we are going to pass in the on. And here we have to generate a random cut. So if we are building a real world application, we could pass in here the data. So we are going to just use the generate random generate random cuts inside here. And now we are passing this cut inside here. Also, we have to pass in the on remove. So now we want when this cut list is going to be clicked so that we can get the, the data. So inside here, we are going to add another, compo another function here and then we are going to 
we are going to make this clickable and we have to pass in here the event so we are going to add here on remove cut and we are going to call this on remove cut inside this so when this is going to be clicked we want to remove the cut So now when this item is going to be clicked, we want to remove the cut and inside here, now we can pass in the on remove function. Now we can fix these errors because they are rising here. And also we can fix here the error and pass in just a, a lambda function. So right now we have to fix this here inside the main activity. And in order to fix this, we have to create here a new variable. And this we are going to call the cuts view model. So inside this home here, we have to pass in the cuts. So we are going to use the view model, cuts view model. And we are passing here the list of cuts. And also we have to pass the on remove here. So right now here, our app is ready to launch. As you can see, we have used this. So let's try and launch up our application and see how it's going to respond. So now the app is launched. Let's try here and we can try here to remove data. So let's scroll down side here. As you can see, when we click the list is going to be updated. So we are creating here a dynamic list. And this is similar to just the recycler view. Also, we can add here data. In this video, I said that you can create a cut list or a list item by just using a, a scaffold or a slot API. So we are going to do this. Let's just jump in here home and we are going inside this here. We can try and collapse this. So we can use here this API and this API is just an experimental API. So you can use this list item. And when we add this, you can see here we have an error. So we can place alt enter here in order to, to import that. So we can add this the experimental API and inside here now we can use this. So we can pass in here the modifier. So we can pass in here the on remove and we can pass in the cut. And also we can add the padding which is similar just to what we did here. And now this is sl provide slots which you can pass in here. Now, for example, here we can pass in the icon. And now in this icon here, we can pass in our, our image. So let's just copy this image here and we can pass in here the image. And inside here also we can pass in the text. So it's going to structure here our text by not just using these columns and other things. So we pass in this first text. Also, we can pass in the secondary text. So if we have a secondary text, we can just use this text here. And now, as you can see here, we, get, we got rid of all of those boilerplate codes which we have created. And now it's just really simple using the, the slots which is provided by this list item. So it is similar to that of a scaffold. So I think it is much more easier than implementing a recycler view from scratch. So you can try and relearn this app and see if it works. If you find value out of this video, you may like these other videos. See you there. Thank you. Bye bye.